Okay guys, so the original video I had planned for this didn't quite go according to plan. I was going to show you guys how to do a uh, with a combustion leak tester. So I'm still going to do that and I'll show you what I got. But we had an accident and uh, I got burned pretty bad. I don't know if you could see. You probably can't see all of it. But it's also in my hair and you can't see what's behind that. But Needless to say, it was not fun, but I'm going to show you what happened. I'm going to show you what we did, um, and also I'm going to show you we're going to do the uh, compression leak down test, So, and we'll see what the results were, uh, whether it's good, bad, doesn't matter. But I just wanted to show you guys that just so you guys can see, and I didn't want this video to completely go to waste, um, but I, did, I felt like I shouldn't post anything like basically saying how to do something if I fuck up and hurt myself. I don't want somebody else getting hurt, so... Uh, yeah, that's that's why this might seem a little bit off, but that's why it's just strictly I don't want anybody else getting hurt and I don't want people to be misled. So I'm just gonna show you what happened and how it went and yeah, there's not much else to say. So enjoy. So guys, uh, that was incredibly ridiculous. So I was working on getting this thing done to do the combustion leak tester. And I basically got stuck in a situation where I was like, okay, I need to hold this thing down because the pressure is going to push it off. But then it started getting so bad that I thought that the thing was literally going to explode. I had nowhere to go. And so I was like, okay, for just a sec, I'm going to take my hand off and see if I can just let it sit there long enough so I can shut the car off. Yeah, that didn't work, and it exploded all over me. You probably can't see right now because it just happened, so it's fresh. Um, but yeah, I burned the crap out of my arm. I burned the crap out of my face. Luckily, I have my glasses on. I got a mouthful of hot coolant and all over my glasses. Like, if my glasses weren't there, I probably would have trouble seeing right now. I don't know how bad it is just yet because it hasn't like fully set in, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Um, luckily, everything's okay. But look at look at the roof; it's dry now, but it got everywhere. We're talking; it's everywhere. My toolbox is soaked. Uh, the compressor soaked. Like everything is just. Everything is just completely covered in this shit, so yeah, be extremely careful if you're doing this. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, but on a positive note, the kit appeared to have not changed color, so it may not be a uh, combustion issue. So with all that being said, if any of you guys happen to know what else it could be, because no combustion gas in the coolant tells me that it's not a head gasket. I mean, we'll do a compression test and other stuff like that, but it's really weird, so I don't know what else it could be. Um, yeah, I don't know, but just be careful out there, guys, because this stuff's no joke. I that was, that was really, really bad, and it probably doesn't even look as bad. I haven't seen the footage. It was fucking terrifying, so uh, don't be idiots like me, guys. Make sure you have somebody there to help you. And if your engine is putting out that much damn pressure, maybe you shouldn't do this test. 
just a, just a, just an idea. So yeah, I'm going to move on to the next test. Okay guys. So I got back and, uh, we're going to do our leak down test. Okay. Um, now that I'm not afraid of getting my arm melted off, it's, you probably see it a little bit better now. Hard to tell, but it's basically blistering all up around it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, uh, but anyway, don't mind me. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get in here and we're going to see if this leak down test, what kind of results we get. I put it in the very back cylinder because on the valve cover, that's the one spot where I noticed where the paint was basically melting. So I would assume that'd be the hottest spot. So we figured we'd try that. So we'll see what we come up with. So first thing I took down here and got it to top dead center. So this is at top dead. We ran the adapter hose in there. So that way, uh, basically this is running into the spark plug hole. And then we're going to hook that into this once we get this set. So what I did is I took the dial and I set it up to where it's basically 10 less than the air compressor. Um, and you can see it's not 100% even, like here this is below 80, this is a little bit more than below. So now we'll hook it up and see what it comes up with. So if you guys are wondering why the image looks a little bit different, it's because I messed up my other lens when I was doing the uh, other tester. So we got this hooked up, so let's hook this thing up and see what we come up with, shall we? Okay, let's see if we can see what that is. Okay, so you can see it's holding basically the same. So that's really good actually. So that means that this is probably not the issue, but I'm gonna go ahead and test the other cylinders. Okay, here we go. This is cylinder number, cylinder number four. Yeah, that one's definitely good. It's not even like, yeah, there's like no change. They're basically even. Okay, cylinder number three. It appears to be okay. It's a little bit low, but it looks like it's filling back up. And it's about, it's about even. So it's basically, yeah, it's equalizing. So it's good. So three's good. Okay, this is cylinder number six hooked up. You can see it's basically even. It's holding pressure. The difference is like, the difference is literally like a couple degrees, maybe one or two. So that's good. Okay, so here's cylinder number five. Basically the same. So let's go to get the next one. Number seven is basically the same story. So, so far so good. Let's see what the next one says. Okay, so here's cylinder number two. It's actually reading pretty darn close. Again, it's just like one degree off. And guys, last but not least, cylinder number one. So as you can see, they're basically identical. Um, yeah, so that's good. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick that this is just hooked up to the shop air and the gauge is not exactly 100% accurate. So even though we were getting a reading where we were off by one, you could see that even here, it's not exact. So even though it's off a little bit, we might have a little bit of a compression leak, but it's not bad enough. Wow, that looks really weird. It's like I'm in total darkness. Oh, it's because I am. <laughs> so guys, I've been working on this and uh, I don't know what to say. It's really weird that now it's like, it's basically looking like as if it's not a head gasket. So that's, that's awesome. But I don't know if you could see just how bad, oh wait, there it is. You might be able to see a little bit more. Anyway, my arm is like, it's totally fucked and part of my head in the back you can't see it because it's covered by hair the little bit that i do have <laughs> but uh yeah so today's just been one of those days so even though like a lot of weird shits happened the good thing is well it looks like the rx7 might be okay so i don't know why there's so many gases and stuff going and expanding inside of there so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some water wetter and i'm gonna take some uh, I'm gonna make sure to get the fans good and just keep an eye on the temperatures and as long as it's not overheating We're just gonna send it. You know what like this car's tried to kill me like three times today And yeah, so I'm gonna go and put the uh, valve covers back on I'm gonna go put the spark plugs back in I'm gonna run it make sure it's got fluid everything like that <sighs> This is some good news guys. This is really good like I'm 
I'm stoked, but I'm also kind of like, I don't know. I feel like I may have just wasted a whole lot of time, but whatever. So thank God it's running. It's running okay. So let's go. I'm going to go and put this thing back together. All right, well guys, got it all back together, got everything on there. Um, boy, it's been one hell of a day, but uh, we got it all together. I just started up to make sure it would run. It did, I didn't want to run it long because it's getting late. It's not night hours yet, but it's getting late. So I gotta stop for today. But uh, the good news is, it seems to be okay. Looks like it's not a blown head gasket, so all I'm gonna do tomorrow, once the sun comes up, fill up my radiator, bleed it a little bit more and that's basically it and then we'll just see if we can send it so that's the plan so all in all today was pretty successful um gosh guys i hope this works i really do i'm so tired of this thing being busted up and i really hope that this thing works i hope that we can fix this puppy and i hope that it just runs and we don't have any more issues with it overheating I really need you guys Smash that like button for me. I'm like, I'm hurting right now, but hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll feel a little bit better. Um, and then I got a surprise for you guys tomorrow, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, so stick around. And, uh, I apologize if the last couple videos may have seen a little, not, not, not personal enough. Um, I'm basically just trying different things to try to get our channel out there. And I like how-to stuff, not always car stuff. And I know sometimes it may come across kind of not personal, but the thing is, some of those videos, it's just nice to put out something that's informative and quick. Um, but I, this is what I enjoy. I enjoy talking with you guys. And this is the format I want to do. Um, so I apologize if you guys saw something and you're like, what was that? Yeah, that's what it was. So just so that way you guys know, I just want, I just want to keep you guys in the loop so you know. You know, I want to be real with you guys. Um, but the good thing is, we're getting back to it. We got this puppy ready. Um, I'm going to button all the rest of this stuff up tomorrow. But tomorrow, totally different day. Have a totally different plan. And i got some really cool stuff to show you tomorrow. So stick around. Um, and thank you guys for supporting us and coming back and watching our videos. It means a lot. It's a lot of work to do these things, and I love doing it. But I'm really happy that you guys are here to support us. If it weren't for you guys, well, I'd still be doing this, but I just wouldn't have anybody listening to me, and I'd sound like a crazy person talking to a camera in my garage. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to go get cleaned up, maybe go get some food, because I'm starving. So uh, say a prayer for me. These burns do not tickle. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Have a good one.